All right, so let's talk about the dissociation of water. So when we talk about pure H2O, it's really not pure, so to speak. Everything in there is not going to be an H2O molecule. H2Os can dissociate just like ionic compounds do in water. So they can break into a positive and a negative ion. H2O is made of H plus and OH minus. So that's what's going to happen. But this doesn't happen very often. Only one to two water molecules out of every 10 million will dissociate. Okay, so not very many do this. But this important property of, raw, of water is going to play a big, big role in acid-base reactions. So it's important that we understand it. All right, now when the water dissociates into an H plus and an OH minus, H plus ions are going to be attracted to um, other water molecules that are still whole because water has partial negatives and partial positives. The O is the partial positive. So the H plus is going to want to, you know, come in and it's attracted to that. It's a plus, O has partial minus. Well, when they collide with enough force, they actually form what's called a hydronium ion, which is H3O plus. And <clears throat> Basically, the biggest point to this is like that a lot of times um, the terms H plus and H3O plus or hydrogen ion and hydronium ion are used interchangeably, okay? So I want you to understand that when they're talking about H plus, that also means H3O plus, and when they say H3O plus, that also means H plus, okay? All right, so here's a little schematic. Looked like it was somebody's coloring sheet at some time. Um, ours isn't colored, that's all right there. So this is the whole process, okay? So one to two out of every 10 million water molecules are gonna dissociate into a hydroxide, which is a OH minus, and a hydrogen ion, which is a H plus. Now these hydrogen ions will combine with water to make what's called a hydronium ion.